My name is Sister Albertine. I've been in the community for seven years. I just made my final vows in the summer of 2020. So I had been um, raised in the Catholic Church, but had been away. And in my early 20s, I had a reconversion and just discovered the Lord's merciful love for me. And I just wanted to um, be with him all the time. And so my, my life radically transformed and um, I had a lot of prayer in my life and going to daily mass. And I didn't realize that, that I could actually have a lifestyle where I would get to pray and meditate and get to go to mass um, and tell people about the Lord. Until I, I met several people at my church that kept telling me, you know, you remind me of the sister I had when I was in school, and you should check out these sisters in Nashville. And I never met a um, habited sister before. I never met the Nashville Dominicans, but enough people started telling me out of the blue about these Dominican sisters. I think five people told me before I went on a retreat. And when I was on retreat, I was just so struck by the joy of the sisters, uh, the beauty of the life, and I had this feeling that the retreat was going to be over in three days, but I didn't want to leave. And so I told the vocation director and basically said, you know, why do you have to leave? So I continued to discern. And I came back on another retreat. And I think it was during the time of adoration that we had that I really knew that I could choose this as, um, as a way of, of my earthly life to lead me to heaven. So I was trying to discern between um, religious life and marriage and in adoration I felt the Lord say to my heart that I was actually free to choose that he had this gift of my vocation for me as my plan a but I was actually free to choose marriage and in that freedom I I found that I could just say yes so I think that that link between love and freedom was made really clear to me and how could you resist someone who leaves you so free to choose him um, I'm so grateful to be in this community of Dominicans who study and preach and pray and are just examples to me every day of, of the love of God, the merciful love of God. So never be afraid just to say yes to whatever plan that God has for your life.